Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about uh, points in Dynamo. And uh, if you remember, in the previous lectures, specifically in uh, lecture one and lecture two, uh, I gave some, uh, you know, points of where we can uh, and how we can apply uh, Dynamo. We spoke that it can be used for geometry, uh, design as a form or a function, automated analyze, and so on. So basically, the majority of what we're going to have in the basic uh, course here is geometries. So uh, just to clarify that whatever we're going to do, or the majority of what we're going to do here, is belong to the geometry uh, section. And the base and the most important topic to talk about it, and the most common command actually to be used when you create geometry or work to design, or you want, sorry, to design your own geometry, you have to talk about, or you have to really understand uh, the types and the function of uh, the points you have. And uh, let's see, let's have a look uh, at what we have in, in Revit. And here I have uh, Revit 2021, Dynamo, I think 2.5. And uh, what I have in the background here is uh, Dynamo uh, again operating, sorry, Revit operating as um, a project environment. I'm going to hit the UN and make sure, make sure that I'm working with meters as I always advise. And if I want to go back to Dynamo and I have and go click new to start up my new file, uh, again, you can uh, hover above here the geometry uh, as a category and then open it to a subcategory of uh, points. And then you have point in and UV. So I'm going to go point again and find the subcategory anyway. So that's what I'm, I will want to explain. I'll try to explain that in one or two videos, depending on the time and how long we have. Uh, but again, remember that the cross one here is, uh, you know, the, uh, the creator or uh, uh, anything that have by constructing is the type of a, uh, a constructor uh, methods. Uh, so always try to remember that the, the green cross here or the plus sign and those are different type of methods, either a query or actions. Anyway, so the major thing to, th to understand that there is two types of points, either we have an abstract point or we have a reference point. Abstract points uh, are the majority of our work. So if I hit here, I'm gonna have a normal point here with, uh, you know, X and Y and Z, or of course you wanna have a go with an X and Y if you if you don't need to deal with a Z and what majority of your work in the same plane. So the difference between those two things, uh, or those two points, sorry, uh, the Z axis, this is allow you to go up and down where this one is just an X and Y. I'm gonna remove that. Both of them actually uh, belong to the abstract point. And when I say abstract again, uh, notice that the point has been created here in Dynamo. And when you zoom in here in Revit, you know, nothing, it's, you cannot select it. It is still like a ghost image. And that's, uh, that's how the things we need to clarify now before we go further with dealing with Dynamo and Revit, that the majority of our work here in Revit and Dynamo, uh, would, whatever you're going to create here in Dynamo, uh, will not be sent as direct geometries to Revit. And you have to deal with the ways to exporting this. I'm going to explore that in detail in next videos. But anyway, if you want to go back, I already have a previous playlist to explain the majority of this in Dynamo once we have a look at it. Uh, in this series of videos, I'll, I'll detail it more to be step by step. But anyway, the point, those are abstract, like 90% of the nodes here we have in Dynamo, and they are going to create geometry only in uh, Dynamo itself without sending it in, in its real uh, able to change physical elements here as a point, so we have just a ghost uh, of it. Anyway, so that's why we call this an abstract point. Uh, you can access the other type, I'll delete this one. You can access with right click, I can say reference. Points. And uh, should have here by coordinates and you can see that in this in, in this type of point it's actually uh it's giving me a, a warning message and that kind of scary maybe you're gonna think without reading this it's, it's, it's actually telling you it only work uh, by creating in family uh, documents so don't freak out sometimes some people just give that a value of a zero zero or try to give the value thinking that it's missing now it's have a default value of a zeros 
So that's kind of a, an, an annoying thing in Dynamo. You have to understand in today's lecture is specifically is about uh, explaining this. So you have to understand not all the nodes you have will work in the project environment. Some of them work in conceptual mass, some of them work in family editor, and some of them work in, uh, you know, uh, in the project environment or conceptual mass or the family editor. Each one of them you have, and that will goes by experience for you to know which one to use and where. But again, see the reference plane, it cannot be, it's at the, the reference point is not being reflected back. It's supposed to create the point here in Dynamo, and it's also create its copy here in a project environment. As the project environment does not accept points, so it's, it won't be you know, generated, and that's why we get this error message. So the difference between those two things, if I just to clarify that before I go and explain how it works, you see this guy working here, and it has its ghost in here. That's what we call it abstract. Again, the reference now, it, it should be created here and here at the same time as a real point. So what we have to do is again, close this guy. And as the message said, it work only in the family thing. So I'll go back to Revit and go to a new family. And again, don't get frustrated because it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go to English and I'm gonna go metric family, maybe a furniture or something, this one. So as the, as the hint or as the note show me that it should work in a family, and I am now in the family, in a family environment, not a project environment. So I go modify, I'll go Dynamo here, and it will launch itself, and I'll repeat the experience by adding, uh, the, adding the point, the reference point, and 99% it's not gonna work. And that's another annoying, and you think that it's a, it's a family, normal family. No, it's not. So let's go here, right click reference points. There's some lag in here, but come on. Yep, so which one here, my coordinates. And again, the same warning message, even though it said here, it should be saying, as we saw in the project environment, it's a family. Any unable element could be created in the current context. Thank you very much for frustrating. Yep, lots of frustrating when you work in Dynamo. You need to depend on experience. So uh, try to take notes and try to try to remember all those, uh, you know, uh, bugs and, and, and understand how they operate. Uh, it might be annoying in the beginning. Anyway, uh, for some uh, reason, I clicked on Dynamo and that's wasn't my main intention so i need to cancel those close the family editor and i will go to uh, new and this time i'll go to the conceptual mass so go english and conceptual mass and that's the metric and don't forget to go units make sure that's a meter not millimeter now if I press on Dynamo now, it should give me the points, the reference point to be created both in Dynamo and Revit. This is really important. I really try to detail this uh, and, and make those errors in front of you. So you don't fall in this, uh, you know, beginner trap. So now new, and again, reference plane or reference point. And here we go. Now it worked happily, as you see, it's inactive. And that's the point here, and it's already created the point for you here. So now if I select it and I move it, it, it is existed, but as long as you leave it, it's gonna go back to its old place. Why? Because whatever environment here in the model space, it will be governed by this model space, which is sent to automatic. And whenever you're gonna change this guy, it's really well known by this identity, which is located in zero. So it's gonna push it back to its original place. But the point, you get a point here, here in, in Dynamo, and you get your point here in uh, inside the Revit project environment without the need to use an in type of export tools uh, that we're going to talk about or a different method of exporting tool that take the work here as a geometry and send it to uh, uh, to, to the project environment. Now, if we close this one, uh, sorry, to the conceptual mass, if you close this one, 
okay with or without saving your changes get back to this guy you have your point now you are free to change whatever you want and however you like so that's been said and this is really important to understand that first not all the geometry like the majority of the modeling you create in dynamo will stay in dynamo until you use the special nodes to export your work to rivet second thing we need to to get to revise it is that uh, you know, uh, there is a geometries or there's nodes that work in a specific environment, whether a product environment or the conceptual mass. Now, let's go back to the points again, and let's see what we have. We have points. The basic and most, uh, you know, easy one is the origin. So when you click in here, you're going to see that, uh, again, look, it's, it's an abstract. So whenever you create it here, you see that there is a ghost in here. There's not a real, not a real point. Again, all those guys are abstract points and not like this one. Anywho, see the point dot origin. It creates a point for you here fixed in, in the in the zero zero zero. Uh, you might need it for some reason, but I, I rarely use it. Anyway, the one that I always use is this one. Uh, it's point by uh, coordinate, and you can sense it's a constructor by coordinates. So usually, uh, if you see by coordinate, it's a constructing method, and it needs this as an input, and that's the result, you know, uh, as long as you see by. Always try to remember this. So that's the input, as we said before, and that's the point as a result. Uh, I explained this one, and this dude here will be almost the same, uh, except it needs a coordinate uh, Cartesian system. I'm going to talk about Cartesian system anyway. Uh, so let's allow you whatever uh, whenever you create it uh, it will have you know its own xyz as a, as a coordinate system or based on the existence sorry of the coordinate system uh, allow you also to rotate the point and the xyz easier what else uh, before we have our uh, 10 minute finish already finished we have you know a cylindrical uh system and we have a spherical system and i will try to explain that in more detail in the next video but again don't forget to uh you know each point that we actually created here let me just uh, remove those two things and i'll remove this one this dude here whatever you create you're going to see the X, Y, Z, and if you go to the background one, you are able to move them. And whenever you're going to move, you're going to see that uh, Dynamo, uh, you know, create for you the slider that have the actual value here. And you can do the other way around by moving it in, in X and Y. Anyway, I will, I will talk about that in uh, the next video in more detail exactly to describe, you know, how we get benefit results out of both, uh, you know, cylindrical point and the spherical point. But for this one, again, I will, uh, you know, tr uh, really, you know, uh, urge you to uh, create a slider just for you as a quick uh, exercise or practice to do. Just go create a slider and try to make a very basic, uh, you know, a very basic points and, you know, try to control them and practice changing the names here. As such, creating, uh, you know, a different value or different input for both uh, points, as you can see here in the X and Y. And eventually, you will be able to control the location of the point in X and Y and Z. Anyway, thank you for watching me uh, uh, today, and I wish you to have a good day. Bye-bye.